What is customer churn? Customer churn is the loss of a customer or client. Traditionally, customer retention was a reactive solution to customer churn. Only after a customer contacted a company or business to make their intention to leave known would the company react, make an offer, and thereby attempt to save a possible customer loss. Predictive Analytics provides a proactive solution to implementing retention strategies and addressing churn well in advance of a customer call and before it's too late. Loss of customer, attrition, defection, or as it has become more commonly known as churn, is a significant problem for businesses. The churn rate refers to the proportion of contractual customers or subscribers who leave a supplier during a given time period. Churn rate is a possible indicator of customer dissatisfaction, cheaper and or better offers available from a competitor, more successful sales and or marketing by the competition, or for reasons related to customer life cycle. The churn rate can be minimized by creating barriers which discourage customers from changing suppliers. These could be contractual binding periods, use of proprietary technology, value-added services, or unique business models. The churn rate can also be minimized through retention activities such as loyalty programs or retention strategies. Reducing churn and building loyalty with retention strategies can significantly help grow your business. Retention strategies focus on creating loyal or more loyal customers, with the cost of recruiting new customers estimated to be 5 to 10 times more expensive than retaining existing customers, it makes perfect sense that retaining profitable customers should be your first priority. As an example, let's look at two different companies, Company A and Company B. Both companies have equal churn rates of 20%. Let's say Company A implements a retention strategy designed to reduce their annual churn rates by 50%. Say they reduce their churn rate to 10%. Company B, on the other hand, decides not to implement a retention strategy. If both companies acquire new customers at a rate of 20% per year, Company A will have a 10% annual net growth, while Company B will have a constant base with no growth. Company A will always expand its customer base. In fact, after a period of seven years, Company A will have doubled in size, while Company B will have made no real growth. This simple truth illustrates that a retention strategy not only leads to company growth over time, but also revenue growth as a result of spend from those retained customers. The definition of a loyal customer is a subjective business assessment usually dependent on a number of factors. Some aspects can be generalized and in most cases a loyalty assessment can be determined based on one or a combination of KPIs including frequency, how often a customer makes a purchase, visits a website or has been in touch, and recency or how long it has been since a customer bought a product or service. Monetary spend, this can be the last purchase amount, an average purchase amount, a lifetime value, or it can be based on other financials. And referrals, which allude to current customers who provide potential acquisition possibilities by referring a friend or a new revenue stream. Loyal customers are made as a result of actions the company has taken to increase the customer's activity with the business. Business improvements such as improved customer service, appropriate product and services recommendations, price competitiveness and regulated contact, among others, will lead to improved customer experience and confidence in the company. Angos Data Science Platform offers you customer churn functionality found in our predictive modeling and data preparation product suite. To find out how Angos software and services can help you with customer churn, Contact us at info at angos.com.